She's cutting it fine. Now he's nearly ready. Does that not tell you something? Yeah. Any minute now, she's going to walk through that door with a stroppy look on her face, expecting me to kick off. Well, I'm not going to. I'm going to let everything calm down and in a few days everything will be sorted. For pity's sake, Dan, will you stop kidding yourself? If she was coming home for a tea, she would be here by now. You're loving this. What? She's only run off because you've been your big gob, blurting everything out over the webcam. Hang on a second, we both said it. Neither of us knew it was on. I feel awful about what's happened. If that was true, you wouldn't have done the DNA test, would you? Why would you do that to us? I wish I hadn't. And I'm sorry. But come on, what's the point in us rowing over stuff that we can't change? Look, we need to be out there doing something useful. She'll be back. No, she won't. Deep down, I think you know that. If you've got nothing positive to say, just get out. Right, fine. I'll go and help Daz and Benice try and find her. You carry on frying your chops, which you're always overcooked, by the way. 